Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. The Holy Spirit prompted me back again um, to speak um, in Jesus' name by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I plead the blood of Jesus over you and all who's watching. I just wanted to share something. Uh, Romans 8, 31 says, What then shall we say to these things if God is for us who can be against us? I just wanted to share with you that um, he put upon my heart that we um, are more than conquerors through him. Yet in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. And that's Romans 8, 37. And nothing can separate us from that. It doesn't matter what anybody has spoken against you. As a matter of fact, right now, I rebuke word curses over you and over myself and over my family and over your family in the name of Jesus Christ. Every word curse that was ever spoken against you, every generational curse, I command it to be destroyed by the mighty power of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus, by the power and authority of Jesus Christ and by the blood of the Lamb and by the power of the Holy Spirit. The Lord speaks goodness over your life. The Lord says that he has a plan to prosper you, never harm you. Amen. And Jesus wanted you to know that no matter what somebody has said against you, you are more than that. If we could only see ourselves through his eyes, he loves us. God created us. And Jeremiah 29, 11 says we were born for a purpose. See, God's word does not go out and come back void. Whatever plan he started in you before you were born, he had a plan for your life. He breathed life into your mother's womb. So no matter what anybody says against you, God is for you. And I just, I just command every demonic spirit coming against you to be destroyed by the power and authority of Jesus Christ, by the blood of the Lamb. And we are more than conquerors through Christ because we have accepted Jesus as our Lord and Savior. So we are heirs to the kingdom of God. And when Jesus died on the cross, he crushed them. He made a mockery of the principalities of darkness, Colossians 2.15. He died and was buried, and on the third day he rose in fulfillment of the scriptures so that we may have redemption through him, that we may have salvation through him. And I just wanted to tell you that shame is not your game. He loves you. He loves you. And I want you to start speaking life over yourself. I want you to see yourself the way that he does. And you know, a lot of what has happened to us, brothers and sisters, a lot has, that has formed us has made us think that we're unworthy, but it's not true. We are worthy of his love. He wouldn't have died on the cross for us if we, if, that's a huge sacrifice. It's because of his mercy and his grace that we can live in this resurrected life, brothers and sisters. And I just destroy, destroy any spells, curses, hexes, any evil incantations that's come against you any demonic spirits of infirmity, sickness, disease, and disorder. I rebuke them and I command them, bound and removed and sent to the pit of hell, destroyed by the powerful name of Jesus, destroyed in the name of Jesus, destroyed by his power and authority in the name of Jesus Christ, amen, and replaced with the blessing. Anything that has been kicked out, Lord, replace it with the blessing, with the healing, every cell of our bodies, Lord. Heal us, body, mind, soul, and spirit. And Lord Jesus, I rebuke the spirit of poverty, Lord. You wish to bless us. Every good gift comes from the Father of heavenly lights. Hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Amen. We receive this bounty. We rebuke poverty in the name of Jesus. And we receive the cup of overflowing of healing, body, mind, soul, and spirit, healing of our finances, healing of our families, healing of relationships, healing of 
of brotherly and sisterly love, Lord Jesus. Let us have friends that are of Christ. Let us have like-minded friends. Let us be equally yoked in our marriages and, and let our children be blessed. Let our children and children children's children be blessed, Father God. And let us go out and preach the good news and preach the gospel, Lord. Let us give you all the glory. Let us praise your holy name, Jesus. Let us thank you for this day and shake off the heaviness, shake off the shame shake off everything the enemy has sent against us by your power and authority lord send your holy angels to surround us today and every day put on the full armor of god every day and put on the uh, hedge of protection around us jesus we know that you are the father to the fatherless you are a father to the widow and no one is lost forever father we know that you leave the 99 sheep and go after that one lost sheep and the heavens rejoice at the sound of one repentant sinner yes father we receive your bounty we receive your outpouring of the holy spirit we receive your blessings because you love us lord it's not about us being worthy it's not about us it's not about are we good enough? Are we trying hard off? No, it's about your grace and mercy. It's about your love. It's about your sacrifice, Jesus. And you hung on a cross and died for us. You poured out every drop of your blood for us, Jesus. We glorify you today. We praise you today. And we thank you that you're breaking chains. I just command these chains to be broken in the mighty name of Jesus Christ by the power of the blood of the Lamb. Amen. That we receive this adoption, this sonship, this daughtership into the kingdom of God today, and we be set free. And once you're set free, brothers and sisters, you are set free indeed, now and forevermore. Amen. The chains are broken, and you will not be shackled again in the name of Jesus Christ. And you are receiving the bounty and the blessing of the storehouses of heaven in the name of God, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. I love you in Christ. I ask you to come together. The Bible says when you come together two or more, I am in the midst of you. So I ask you to come into agreement with this prayer for our blessing today. And we praise him ahead of time. Amen. It's like... The faith that we do not see yet, we still praise you for it. We praise you for the blessings, even though we don't even see them with our human eyes, Lord, because we have faith. Jesus says, faith is believing without seeing. Amen. Glory be to God and praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for this prayer, this prompting, for sending me back to pray for my brothers and sisters. Amen. You are the, you are the power. Every knee will bow, every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord and Savior on this earth and, and below this earth, that knees will bow to you, Jesus. I glorify your holy name, God. I thank you. I praise you. Thank you, holy angels, for protecting us today. Thank you, brothers and sisters in Christ, for subscribing to my channel. I love Jesus. I love you. I bless you in the name of Jesus now and forevermore. Amen.